Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a witch's handbag. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the UK and for this design you're going to need two black 260s, I'm also using two purple chrome or reflex balloons and a couple of 160s in orange and lime green. You may need one or two little pieces of scrap, but we'll see how it goes. You're also going to need a hand pump or an electric or a battery operated twisting pump. So this is my Legenda uh, twisting pump, which I absolutely love. Um, very popular with balloon twisters. It's good for inflating 160s, 260s, 350s, and five inch rounds. It's even got a little timer. So this is a super bit of kit. Uh, it's a rechargeable battery. So uh, too heavy, I think, to use at gigs if you're walking around twisting. But if you've got a stationary setup with a table, this is absolutely perfect, as well as creating things in your own studio. Inflate both your black balloons to a tail of about four fingers. Let a little bit of air out at the beginning to soften. Make a two finger bubble and hold on to that. And in this balloon, twist off a bubble that is seven to eight inches long, okay? And then wrap the two balloons together, those two bubbles together to secure everything, okay? In the longer black balloon, so this one, you want to twist off a bubble that is just a little bit smaller than this one, okay? I like to bend that over to hold on to it, and then I'm going to twist a small two finger bubble at the end here, okay? Bring those two together and just wrap them together. And we can wrap that little bubble through the middle just to secure everything. Okay, so you've got the beginning of your flat weave. And if you find it difficult to hold on to everything, there are different ways to start off flat weave. But if you're struggling to hold on to everything and secure the bubbles, then I find that quite a good way to start off just whilst you're getting the hang of things. Okay, so now we want to make a very small bubble of a finger, just a little over a finger wide, okay? And then bend your balloon over and we're going to make bubbles that are just slightly smaller than these. So we want to angle the weave in slightly, okay? So twist off another bubble here. You can hold on to that between your little finger and your ring finger while you twist off another small bubble here of a finger to a finger and a half. And then we're going to wrap this into this section here, okay? So just hold on to everything and wrap it round. So that's what you've got. Again, pick the larger balloon. You might want to give it a bit of a squeeze. And we want to make a bubble to match this one. So bend it over, measure, and then twist off a bubble, okay? And then we want to switch places with these two bubbles. So this one wants to end up on the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're just going to push this back bubble underneath the front one and swap them round, okay? And that's going to secure everything in position, okay? Next, on this side, we can make another small bubble, as we did before, of just a finger to a finger and a half. Bend this over here, and we now want to make a bubble that is just a little bit smaller than this one, so angling, angling the weave in. Okay, so again, you can hold that between your little finger and ring finger whilst you twist another small bubble here. And then we're going to wrap this into this section, okay? Uh, 
and just strap the two together. Okay. And then again, whoop, <laughs> one of these days I will make a video where I don't <laughs> hit myself in the face with the balloon. <laughs> I don't think it's happened yet. Okay. So we're now going to make a bubble to match this one. So just give everything a little squeeze and measure. I'm going to take a look. Just measure that. Okay. And then we're going to just swap those round as we did before. Okay. Give your balloons a little squeeze. And all being well, we should have just enough to do one more row. So again, small bubble. Bend that over. And then small bubble. Okay. And I'm just going to twist off a bubble here, just a very small one. Okay. So we've got a small bubble there, a small bubble in what's left here. And then I'm just going to wrap those two together. Okay, so that's what you've got. And I'm going to twist off a small bubble in this balloon. Okay, bring it over here and just swap those over. Okie dokie. So that's what you've got. With what's left here, we can make a pinch twist. So just grab hold of this and pinch twist. Okay. And then I'm just going to snip off the end here and tie a knot. Okay. And then I'm just going to hide the, the excess inside. And I'm going to do the same thing with what's left here. So that's what we've got so far. With the bubbles that we started with, we can turn those into pinch twists as well. If your bubbles feel quite tight and firm, you can always just grab hold of that knot and roll it slightly to make the balloon, the bubble a little bit softer and to help you pinch twist that. So just grasp that, pull it upwards and twist it around. Okay, and then you can wrap that neck and nozzle around a little bit and just hide down there. And we can do the same thing on the other side. So we've got the beginnings of our handbag. Inflate your chrome or reflex purple to a tail of about four fingers. Let a little bit of air out just to soften the beginning of the balloon and then tie. Next, we're going to make a bubble of between two to three fingers and then make another bubble of approximately the same size. Bend the two over, grasp hold of the neck and nozzle, twist that around, and then take that neck and nozzle and just wrap it between the center of those two bubbles and that's going to pinch twist those two bubbles. And that's a really easy way to pinch twist two bubbles at the beginning of a balloon, okay? Make a small bubble of about three fingers, maybe a little bit smaller actually. That's better. Three fingers, that's more like it. And then make another bubble to match that one. Bring the two together, wrap them together and wrap that around and then bring your 260 through the center. Okay. And that's what we've got. Okay and then give your balloon a bit of a squeeze and then come all the way over the other side and you're going to need to have enough balloon to replicate at the end of the balloon what you did at the beginning of the balloon. So I'm gonna have a handle about that long, I think, and twist off a bubble. And then I'm going to make a bubble of a couple of fingers, two to three fingers, twist that into a pinch twist Make another bubble the same size. Twist that into a pinch twist. Okay, bring that through the center. And then I want to make two bubbles the same size as these. So three fingers 
and another one to match this one. Okay, and then twist that all together. Okay, and then we can snip off the end and tie a knot. Whilst you're here, I'd be so grateful if you could hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos which I publish every week. And if you're enjoying this video, I think you will also enjoy my Halloween series. I've got a couple of Halloween series plus some standalone Halloween character videos. So I leave links in the description below to everything, to the products I'm using, the equipment I'm using, and also to those Halloween videos. So be sure to check those out once you've watched all this video. If you have got quite a long piece of excess here, you can use that for this next stage. Mine is probably a little bit too short, so I am now going to just snip that off, okay? and I am going to use a little remnant of 160 and I'm just going to wrap that in to those pinch twists there, okay? There you go. So take your hand bag and what I'm now going to do is I'm going to pass this little piece of 160 in between the bubbles here at the front and in between the top two layers there. Okay, so if you want to, you can wrap into the pinch twist. It just depends how you want the handle of your handbag to sit. And I find that doing it this way just gives me uh, the most flexibility. Okay, so take your other handle, still holding on to that bit of 160, and wrap that into those pinch twists there. Okay, just to secure that in position, just wrap it round couple of times. Okay, so we're secured on that side. We need to arrange things a little bit, but don't worry about that just yet. And then take another little piece of 160 and wrap that into the pinch twists at this end. Just wrap that around a couple of times. And then we're going to do the same thing at this end. Oh, I'm stuck on something. <laughs> Okie dokie, right. So take that 160, pass it through this layer here, right the way through the back, okay? And then take hold of this end, take that 160 and just wrap it into those pinch twists there, okay? And then we can just trim off that little bit of 160 just the tip end. So there's our handbag looking pretty good already. But to make this a proper witch's handbag, there's a couple of things that we need to do just to add some accents to um, witchify this handbag. So inflate your 160 orange. I've inflated to a tail of perhaps six fingers. We're probably not going to use all of that. So I've let quite a bit of air out because it's quite handy to have, whoops, nobody saw that, did they? <laughs> we'll just pretend that didn't happen, okay. So it's quite useful to have this bit of excess here. And we're going to make small bubbles of two and a half fingers or so, and then make another small bubble to match that one. You can go smaller if you want to. So bring these two together, take hold of that knot, twist the two together and I like to pass that knot and nozzle through the center because that's just going to help ensure that doesn't come undone. And then make another bubble the same size, about two and a half fingers or so. And then another bubble to match this one. Okay, so that's what you've got. And don't worry if these bubbles aren't exactly the same size. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this one over the top of those first two bubbles and you're going to sort of nestle the, um, the joins, the, the, the twisted bits here together. I'm holding on to the twisted bits here, 
pulling those together and I'm going to twist all that together. Okay, and then what I find it useful to do is just move that little knot and nozzle out of the way. I then feed or twist the rest of this balloon around the segments of the pumpkin, okay? So I've gone round one and then I'm going round the others. Okie dokie. So that's what we've got. I can now break off the rest of this balloon. I'm going to leave a little bit of excess just in case I need it for when I'm connecting this to the handbag. Sometimes I do find it helpful, sometimes not. And then just tie these two together. And just take that neck and nozzle and wrap it around the segments a little bit more. So you've got a teeny tiny pumpkin. Next, I'm using 160 in lime green and I'm using the pocket pump. I don't often use the pocket pump, but I only want to put a small amount of air in here. So perhaps about three inches or so. So give that a squeeze. And we're going to make some very small loops of a little more than a finger. Wrap that round. Okay, it's difficult. You're not going to be able to pass the neck and nozzle through. So I'm just going to tie a knot here just to stop that first loop coming undone, which it can do very easily whilst you're making subsequent loops. So make another loop of just about a finger. Quite tricky to do and don't worry if these aren't exactly the same size and then wrap that neck and nozzle through so that's what you've got and then give your balloon a squeeze and make another very small loop okay and wrap the rest of that balloon around to connect those three loops together okay so that's what we've got and then what I'm going to do is just use this neck and nozzle to connect the top of the pumpkin to the orange section. So just wrap it all the way round, wrap around those green loops and then just let go. Okay, so we've got a very cute little pumpkin here. So next, just make a little loop. Okay, so hold on to everything here. Just go there. Okay, and then we want to tie a knot here. Just so we keep that little bit of stalk. You can now take your pocket pump and just put the tiniest amount of air in just to puff inflate that, the rest of that 160, okay? So you've just got the tiniest amount of air in there. And all we need to do now is connect the pumpkin. So I like the pumpkin to just dangle down a little bit part way on the handbag. And so I'm just going to take that 160 and wrap it into this pinch twist here. And then I can wrap that around a couple of times. If you've enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy this one next.